All right, it is almost five o'clock in the evening, folks. I apologize for the late video. I'm not going to do a what sold because I only sold two yesterday. I was disappointed in the sale, so I'm always transparent. I jumped my promoted listings. I changed them, and I went to 5% just to see what happened. And I got a bunch of sales today, so tomorrow you will see those uh, Sunday. But right now, I went sourcing this morning before I took my mom to get her second COVID shot. And um, then I went to my aunt's to pick up some things for her, she had for my mother for her new apartment. Just got home, and now I'm going to run through everything. I've comped a couple of things, but not a lot of it. Spent $127, and you're about to see some treasures. Stay tuned. Uh, I gave a buck for this box. This is 1986. Uh, brand new old stock paint for these are for models, uh, car models. I'm assuming that they're still good, um, but I don't know. You got to shake them up, and there's a bunch of loose ones in here, and they they are all still wet. There's thinners and different colors, so I don't know. But for a buck, I will take the chance. There's brushes, um, cement pins. Again, this is all vintage old stock. Um, and it's all by testers, which is the famous model plastic model kit people. I'm shaking it up. Yeah, it's all still good. And this is all from the eighties folks. I paid a buck for the whole box and there's a bunch of it. And that one's actually thinner. So I don't know why I'm shaking that one up, but I gave a buck for that box. We're going to move that out of the way because I need the room. I picked this up for a dollar as well. This comps for about $25. It is also, this is 1987. It is the Screaming Eagles game. And I'm trying to tilt it so none of it spills out because the cover is not in great, great condition on the sides. But there you go. It is a Milton Bradley game. And um, there's some paper pieces. And then the planes, of course, plastic. 1987. I gave a buck for that. So that one I did comp and it or it's, looks like it's about $25. Um, I picked these up for $8 and I did not comp these again. Sometimes you just grab stuff. They are women's Nike uh, athletic shoes and they've got a pull string. I haven't looked at again at them. They're Nike free, but there you go. Those are like a running training shoe, eight bucks. Um, I got this for a dollar and I just got through comping this. I don't have the cord, but I'm going to try to get the cord to test it. Untested is $50 on eBay sold comps. Tested and working, $100 to $125. It is an Apple Newton E-Mate 300. And I paid a buck. A buck, folks. That's what I gave. And again, even untested. It is cosmetically in very good condition other than a little bit of dust. Uh, it doesn't have the stylus, but I got plenty of those. And again, I'll get the cord and test it, or I'll just sell it as is for 50 bucks, and I paid $1. These are a plush figures I spent at this estate. This uh, it was a yard sale, but it was an estate sale. The lady's, uh, or the son's mother passed away a week ago, and... Um, Everything was a really good deal, and you're about to see. I've spent $22 on everything you're about to see. This is 1998 Tigger, and it is a talking figure. And again, I'll put batteries in and check that out. This is a Gumby piece uh, from uh, Nanco from 2000. And uh, I love Gumby and Pokey. This one is from... Play School, and it is 19, man, 1990, and Mr. Ernie, so plush, 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 and one more, this is from the 80s, from 1983, it's a Care Bear, needs a little bit of cleaning, but I'll take that from 1983. Um, I think that's it for the plush. Found some t-shirts. This is a single stitch on Reebok 2XL. Single stitch. Part of the $20 bundle deal. 
This is Shaquille O'Neal Orlando Magic. And that's a really cool shirt. And again, it's single stitch. And I haven't done the total valuation because I spent 22 on the whole box. This is Bravado from night or from 2000. So it is vintage. It is not single stitch and it does not have a neck tag. It is Bravado. It's Michael Jackson Thriller. And uh, anytime you find a Michael Jackson t-shirt, I did comp this. There was a sold comp for 20 bucks. Again, I probably paid less than a dollar for that. These two are not as old, um, but they are also Michael Jackson. And they are from his last uh, show he was working on when he passed away nine years ago. This is it. And again, I'll wash those, clean those up. And the last of the t-shirts is also Michael Jackson. This is it. So they're at least nine years old. And um, again, I haven't looked them over. I'm pulling them out of the box because when I'm picking, I'm running and picking. Um, I asked him if he had any video games. He said, yeah, I do, but they're older stuff. And of course, you know what the cap guys eyes do when they say that. And these were $10 and I think I got seven of them. Um, and I didn't look at the valuation again when... He says $10 for seven Sega Genesis games. I did the deal. Again, it's part of the $22 bundle, so I probably didn't even give that for them. The first one is Shaq Fu. Okay. The second one I know is not worth a ton of money. Madden 95. Um, the covers on those are really good. Um, I did only comp one of these, and I'll show you that in a minute because I haven't got to it. This one is Rumble with Hulk Hogan. That's one of the games. Okay. The next one is a Batman Forever game, and that label needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But keep in mind, I didn't give much for these. The one I did comp is this one right here. The label's not in great shape, but that's a $35 game, $40 game. Beavis and Butthead on Sega Genesis. Um... This one is Justice League. There you go. Got Superman and the gang on it. And then the seventh one was loose. Let's see if I can come across it. Here it is. Man, this is Sonic. Uh, the Hedgehog, the original. That's worth a little bit of money. The label's not as good as the ones that I have that were in the original case that I bought from the lady. But this is part of the $22 bundle deal. So keep that thing going in your mind. Um, those are from another sale. Those are from another sale. Okay, I picked up these for me. It was two for a dollar. And anytime you can grab the Eagles on CD, which I already probably have. That's okay. Um, I grabbed some VHS. They were part of the deal as well. Some of these were obscure names, so I grabbed them. I didn't go through every one and comp them all, but Space Raiders... On VHS, I've never seen. So if I didn't know what it was, I grabbed it. This one, I only grabbed it. It's called Hedda, and I have not done the comp on it. But it had a $150 price on it. So wherever this came from, it must be rare. It is $19.75. So I grabbed it. I grabbed it as part of the $22 deal. The next is Dream Team, $19.96, going for the gold. And again, I grabbed that. And again, if, you do, if they don't turn out to be valuable... I didn't have much in them. This one is Simon Says, and you can see Mr. Rodman's on there. And again, it's something you just don't see every day. This one shows a $400 price tag. I have not comped it. I'm really curious about this one. It is 1990, the Bronx Warriors. Now, I know the Warriors come out to play A, one of my favorite movies of bouncing, trying to get back to Coney Island from a meeting in the Bronx. But, uh, this is an off take, and if that's if that's even close to that number, I'm good. Uh, Rachel Ward, Night School, one of them scary movies. Some of the scarier themes are the ones that you want to find on VHS. And then this one is The Disturbance. And again, this is all part of the $22 that I spent at that sale. So again, I'll comp those. Um, this was a Simpsons. I think it's Burger King, Bark Watch, and I've got a few of those already, so I grabbed it. Um, those are for me. 
I had two bottles of shampoo for a quarter a piece that are full, so I grabbed them. Um, this comes with a remote. It is also from 1990. And I, again, I haven't comped it. Um, it's Dino Buddy. Yeah. There you go. And it works. He did it while I was there. And um, I don't know what that's worth, but from 1990, there weren't a lot of this kind of stuff around. 1990 so again part of the $22 deal so we'll figure that out here in a minute and then I got a bunch of oh man these things are heavy dinosaurs and I bet this thing weighs three or four pounds it is um 1960 looks like 68 yeah 1968, and that's a uh, brontosaurus, I believe, or is that, no, that's a, is that a stegosaurus? No, that's not a stegosaurus. They have the spiny things. Anyway, I think it's a brontosaurus. Um, here's another one, and from that same time frame, and there's a bunch of these. I won't probably go through every one because you've got other things to do, but, you know, as I grab them, who cares, right? Yeah, there's some smaller ones. These things, I mean, some of these go for 20 plus and 68, I don't know. That might be, that may be something too. But I went ahead and grabbed them all because again, what did I pay folks? $22. That's right, that's right. And then I got, I won't go through the rest of them, but I got some cars and these were thrown in and these are transformer, like police cars. So if anybody knows anything about those, I mean, I'll be comping them and looking them up, but who knows what kind of value they got. A lot of these cars were older. Um, there's a couple that are McDonald's themed. Got the little McDonald's figure. And there's one that was in a pickup truck I'm trying to find. Here it is. It's an old Snoopy in a pickup truck. I mean, and who doesn't want a Snoopy from... Uh, what is that? 19, man. Cap guy's got to get better glasses. Well, let's just say it's old, okay? How about that? All right. Got a uninflated basketball, big eight. They are now the big 12, so this is fairly old. Got OU, Colorado, and all the teams in there that didn't have my team in the conference when it became the big 12. Um... Another sale, oh, and I picked up three of these Oklahoma Land Run 19, or 1889 mugs um, for a dollar a piece. And I got these two for five. He had them for five a piece. I just picked up these two. I don't know if they have any value, but it's no big deal if they don't. Um, I know there's other stuff here that I'm missing. Oh, this was a dollar. An old Chicago Bulls pennant, and I haven't comped this to figure out the price, but you can see that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I got a Man Mountain Link hat, and I'll tilt this so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. Got the corn cob so I can pipe the pipe so I can smoke. Got a little jigger so I can get my shine, and. Uh, even got the like little Abner patch on the side here. But you know when Cap Guy sees something like this, I paid two bucks. I, there was two of them. I only grabbed one of them. Because when you're messing around, you only need one, you know? All right. Um, I got this for $20. It is a game used. Oh, I missed something. I probably messed up on this one. It is a Honda Red Wing jacket. I paid 24 at the estate for sell for it, and it looks like that's about what it goes for. But you know me, I'm going to price it, and it's going to sell higher, or I won't sell it. Uh, but it's a pretty vintage, and it's actually by the Red Wing, Honda Red Wing folks. So there you go. This a shadow box is worth more than what I paid for the item. Uh, he said he paid 60 for the shadow box, and I believe that. And he paid 100 for the jersey, and it is a... Game worn insight bowl, which is in Tempe, Arizona. Um, Iowa Hawkeyes game worn jersey. I paid 20 bucks for this, 
and um, I will sell it. They sell for about a hundred without the shadow box, and I will take it out of the shadow box and ship it. Obviously, I want pictures of the back of it anyway, but um, I don't like shipping glass, and I did with the KD jersey that I sold for eight hundred dollars, but I just don't like messing with that stuff. And uh, there you go. And the last thing. Um, and uh, first I'll ask the folks in the room. What's my name on YouTube? Yeah, I can't hear you. That's right, it's the cap guy. We wanted $2 a hat. And for about five of them that I found in the house, I paid $2 a hat. This is CL Boy. They're a local construction company that still exists. This is a vintage hat. I didn't know this estate sale was open the day before and some cap people came in there and bought some caps. And uh, anyway, she had a tub of them. She wanted $2 a piece. I didn't want to pay $2 a piece. I said, what would you do if I buy them all? She said, how about $25? And I would assume there's about a hundred hats here. So Olympics. And I'm not going to show you every one of them, I promise. A lot of these are and I didn't go through them all because I didn't have time because when you're picking, you're grinning and you're running. So maybe Hee Haw should have had that song too. But uh, a lot of these are company branded. And here's one Ford Company, Motor Company Sheriff vehicles. Some of these need some cleaning up. Again, I didn't go through every one of them. Um, and I won't show you every one of them. But there are some really vintage ball caps in here and again i didn't go through every single one of them but for the price i paid um i don't care because i'm gonna make some money and when you only paid that much some of these are uh, shriners ball caps like here's camel herders india temple shrine and then uh western tools some more advertising seminole oklahoma company and they're all vintage, though. Um, a drilling hat that's not in great condition. Some of these I'll have to throw away. And that's just what you get when you do this. Some more Shriners. I know there was... Uh, here's a vintage Majestic Fireplaces. And vending. And... Uh, again, I haven't dug into these. Stay Right. Uh, Hendershot. Gold Crest Protection, Stay Alive, Don't Drink and Drive. Uh, that still pertains to nowadays, just because it's vintage. Doesn't mean anything. Here's a vintage Alaska. Um, again, some advertising. Cane's Coffee, which is local. Um, I know there was a couple that I wanted to show you. Hendershot, Hayes Motor Freight. Never heard of them. They definitely are in the boneyard, and I spent 35 years in trucking. I know my trucking companies. Um, Moose Lodge here in Yukon. And then I saw some that were from uh, trying to find it. Here it is. That's another Western Tools. Um, and I haven't looked to see if there's any uh, three stripers. Here's Moog. And a lot of these are advertising. But again, it's about memories on eBay, so you want to find hats that have to do with that. And, uh, yeah, AB Dick, another company. And a lot of these are companies. Here's one that Chuck would like. Uh, it's an auctioneer hat. Day Kill Auctioneers. And... I'm guessing if there was any that they got from, uh, oh, here's a cool one, Oklahoma Honda, Dell City. That's on the east side of Oklahoma City. So if there were any three stripers, that's probably what the guys that picked the day before got, if there were any. And I don't know if there were or not. Um, there are probably a hundred <laughs> hats in here. Here's just a sample on the bottom. And again, um, some of these are oil filled. Some of them are machinery, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, here's one. Here's one that's in the boneyard that y'all will be familiar with if you follow trucking. We used to call them Cornflake. They were a competitor of overnight Consolidator Freightways. And uh, 
They uh, went in the boneyard in the early 2000s and went defunct. Big Teamster Company. And uh, I'll clean that up. That'll be worth some money to somebody. But there you go, folks. 127 bucks. I think I covered everything. And you already saw what I picked yesterday. So I got to get busy. I got a lot of work to do. Man. Appreciate you, folks. See you tomorrow.